Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn uh, a comparison between three different functions. Uh, the first one is nested if, then VLOOKUP and the XLOOKUP. So we will be solving one situation with these three different functions and then we will compare that which one is the most easier one or the user should adopt. So there is a data uh, which has a three columns the impact likelihood and according to the impact and likelihood combination uh, there is a risk rating so if we uh, go through first column which is the impact column we have three different uh, scenarios uh, the first one is for three scenarios for the low then three scenarios for the medium and then for high so if the impact is low and the likelihood is low then risk rating will be low so if you can see uh, a difference here that if there are uh, in the impact column there are three lows and with a combination of likelihood like low medium and high so there is an output of a risk rating again uh, three situations for the medium with a combination of likelihood of low medium and high and then uh, three scenarios with the high f with a combination of low medium and high so with these combinations so we can say that there are total nine different uh, nine unique scenarios with a combination of impact and likelihood and according to that uh, the user will be flow in the risk rating area now we have a data here uh, which you can see on the left side so we have the impact column likelihood column and we will solve uh, this with the help of uh, first is the nested if and then we have v lookup and x lookup so let's start uh, solving this situation with the help of a nested if so I have already created a solution let me explain it to you so started with a simple if in the logical test uh, what I am doing is I am I am just uh, comparing the first cell with the second cell so the first cell is for the impact situation which is low and the second is for the likelihood and uh, this if these both cell contains the same words spelling so definitely it will generate true and if that that generates true so what I need is I need a low here in the risk rating and then it goes on because we have total of nine different criteria here and we have to allocate the risk rating accordingly so in the next uh, if I have used the end function and now I'm, I'm defining the situations here uh, for example if a2 is equals to low and b2 is equals to medium so if b2 contains medium uh, if these two combinations are there then value of true will be low then again the third situation if a2 is low and b2 is high if these two combinations are there then we need medium in the cell so likewise um, what I have did is for these nine situations I have uh, defined all these uh, multiple ifs here which you can say nested if with uh, with a combination of and here and it takes a lot of time to execute this because th there are nine situations might be later on the situations get increased so the formula will definitely also increase and as you know that in ifs or nested if you need to take care of all the uh, logical or technical things like you need to uh, add comma and inverted commas bracket close uh, bracket open of the bracket so you need to uh, be very proficient in writing a long very long nested ifs and if you make a mistake so you need to read again and, and identify the mistake which take a lot of time in in debugging that problem so instead of nested if it although it's it's uh, more likely a, a kind of a solution which some users prefer to have a nested if but what if that uh, th this kind of long and complex uh, formula can convert and uh, into an easier one so we have a choice here that we can go with the VLOOKUP uh, we have a choice that we can go with the XLOOKUP and also if you know index and match so you can do uh, the solution with index and match as well so let's have a VLOOKUP so instead of this nested if um, which uh, takes a lot of time in executing this solution so uh, what we can do is equals to VLOOKUP and now the first is the lookup value so the lookup value will be a combination of uh, the first cell of the impact and joining with m% sign 
and taking a, a second cell which is from the likelihood right and then we need a table array now what a limitation here is we need a column in our this grid sheet which is on right side uh, which joins uh, the two cell values the first one of the impact and likelihood and that will be on the very left side because VLOOKUP runs from left to right so we need to create a helper column here uh, which joins these two cells and the lookup value will find uh, that particular match from the uh, first column of a data set and then according to the column index number it will give us give us a correct risk rating so uh, before applying the VLOOKUP we will add one column here so for example if I write a combo here just giving it an easier name and if I take the first cell of uh, impact and with the M% sign to join the likelihood cell so we have now combination here right let me change the formatting okay so now our work will be more easier here uh, so again we look up a lookup value will be uh, joining of two cells the first one from the impact the second is likelihood and the table array will be the entire this grid right uh, then uh, make sure that you absolute uh, this range as well or you can create a name range for that as well the column index number will be the fourth uh, for the risk rating to get the that particular scenario value and the exact match uh, we can use false and I will just copy and paste so you can compare now the the, the solution which came from the nested if uh, is giving the exact same response uh, as we use the VLOOKUP here and you can see the length of your function as well very short but in this situation we need a helper column as well right let's come to the X lookup so let's get start X equals to X lookup uh, the lookup value will be again uh, a combination of two cells by joining them together with an ampersand sign now the best part in the X lookup is that in the V lookup we created a uh, a extra column of combo so we don't uh, we don't need that in X lookup so what I can do is I can first select the impact uh, range or impact array and then I will use M percent sign and I can now select the likelihood column or uh, likelihood array right so I don't need to create a combo column within if I am using the X lookup but if you are using VLOOKUP you have to create that so we have defined the lookup array uh, joining these two column impact and likelihood and then we have the return array which is the output column uh, so I will select the range of risk rating column right then uh, as you know that if any kind of value or word if I write in the impact or likelihood so it might contains error it, it shows up error so as you know that as an Excel user if you want to uh, customize the error or you want to hide the error you use if error if you are using nested if or VLOOKUP but in the XLOOKUP you have the function argument which is if not found is technically works same like if error so if you want to define the criteria you can if you want to skip just write a comma here then the match mode match mode is just like we do the exact match in VLOOKUP by writing false or approximate match for the true so in the match mode of X lookup uh, we need to use the exact match which is zero and I will close the bracket here and I will just drag this entire function so as you can see that this is exactly giving the same responses as we extracted from the nested if and we look up uh, so X lookup is giving the same responses right so you can see the length of this function as well as compared to nested if so if some of you want to see uh, again the risk rating from the perspective of indexed match so let me solve this as well index plus match right so equals to index so the array of the index will be the output so we will select the risk rating column okay uh, the match function gives the relative position which we are trying to find so the lookup value within the match function will be the impact cell uh, joining with the likelihood cell the lookup array will be again the combo column so index and match also requires uh, the helper column 
and uh, next is the type of match which is the exact match for zero and I will close that bracket and copy and paste this function so now you can see that all these four different functions are giving the same results uh, based on the grid and the situation is defined in the impact and likelihood column right so it's a choice of a user that either uh, the user wants to go with this kind of uh, a long formula uh, by nested if or if he knows VLOOKUP a simple helper, helper column can solve your problem uh, with, in a very less time if you have uh, Office 365 available so you can use XLOOKUP as well or if you know index and match so uh, still it needs the helper column so there are four different methods uh, with the same situation and you can now compare and learn it if you want to learn X lookup in more detail with the fundamentals so you can go uh, to my channel which is Excel basement on YouTube and you will find this video X lookup and let function with uh, which is dynamic array formulas so you can learn that in detail I hope you like this video and you will improve your skill set thank you